Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is TK and this is our friend Esti, the Monk Parakeet. And we are going to show you our progress on our Battle Cruiser build. So this is part two of uh, this series. Uh, last time we had uh, drawn the uh, outline of the Battle Cruiser onto paper and now we're going to transfer that onto our main building material, which is cardboard. Why did I choose cardboard? Um, well, it's pretty uh, cheap. It's uh, easy to use. It's ma malleable. You can pretty much like bend it if you need to, and it's also sturdy at the same time. Uh, and who did not do a lot of online shopping this holiday? So and and ended up with a bunch of Amazon boxes sitting at home doing nothing. So that's pretty much what uh, what we have here. And then I decided to use them. Uh, as our building material, which is pretty suitable also for the battle cruiser, since you know the battle cruiser is very um, kind of like squarey. It doesn't have a lot of um, curves. Uh, it's mostly straight lines um, and right angles. Um, but of course, like there's some parts that are more round and like the, they are bent more awkwardly, uh, uh, like tubular, like the engine. Uh, then for those pieces, then I will use EVA foam to uh, to build them. Uh, because it's gonna bend more smoothly and look better. Um, but for most of the for the bulk part, uh, it will be of the structure is gonna be uh, cardboard. So I use like these exactos for cutting. Uh, these is like the regular kind of exacto that you can find at your hardware store. Uh, it's pretty very useful for like straight lines, very easy to use. Uh, and then I have like this uh, kind of more specialized exacto that uh, artists use. Um, it's uh, it's very sharp and it's very easy to use to make like curved, more like bent or curved uh, lines. Uh, the blades uh, wear out over time. So I have like these uh, rechargeable, well, like replaceable um, blades uh, that came with the knife. And I can, you can all get that on Amazon together. Uh, for like dirt cheap like maybe 10 bucks and then it comes with a box so then there you go you have more material to work with just like two for one um, I like to have my knives sharp because uh, they make better lines you make better cuts uh, it's not as hard on your on your arm when you work and you work faster you don't hurt yourself and you have better uh, looking project then we need tracing and measuring to make sure that like our pieces are you know, uh, similar in shape and like dimensions. We don't want anything crooked. We want things to like, you know, look uh, symmetrical on both sides. So I use like rulers, uh, right angle ruler, um, and just like a, a tracing ruler. So it's a bit longer than your regular 12 inch and it helps you make like nice long cuts of like uh, your pieces. Then we need a good glue to put our pieces together. I like to use hot glue because it bonds strongly to cardboard and it provides like an almost instantaneous bond after the application. Uh, I also use PVA or white carpenter glue for sticking larger surface areas together. Uh, but those ones, uh, it just takes longer before the, the glue sets. So meanwhile, I work on other parts while I wait. Okay, let's start building. I divided the battle cruiser into uh, different bulk, bulk parts that will be constructed separately, then attached together towards the end. Uh, so mainly we have the front deck or the head of the ship. Uh, then you have the long Yamato gun channel, or we can call it the neck. Uh, then you have the engines or the main body, and then the two wings. Uh, so I started with the head of the ship, which is made of a wide lower deck, uh, as you can see here, and then a higher deck on top. In the middle is attached uh, frontal sensor modules and the Yamato gun channel. I decided to split the two sides of the head so that they can be separated after display, so it's for easier transportation purpose. So this is something I always emphasize in my cosplay project because um, you don't want to arrive at a convention and your props don't fit in through the door or worse, they don't even make it to the event because it was too large uh, for the airport luggage dimension, for example, or uh, you can't even fit it in your car trunk. 
So make sure all your hard work is going to make it wherever you want it to be. So for today's video, I'm showing you how I built the uh, lower deck of the head of the battle cruiser. It basically looks like a double decker bus with two series of windows sandwiched between thick base layers of armor. The top and the bottom base layer are cut from a large cardboard piece using the outline that we did before. Then I glued supporting inner walls to help holding them sitting on top of each other. For the exterior walls and the window frames, I had to glue many long strips of cardboard along the outline of each base layer. So I thought useful to pre-cut like a bunch of multi-purpose cardboard uh, strips of about like one inch wide uh, before starting constructing. And these strips can be used as either walls, supporting elements, or to add depth to different parts uh, of the ship. So this is it for the second part of this Battle Cruiser series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow this project. And it's also going to help me build my channel. So today we pretty much covered the base of the head of the Battle Cruiser. In the next video, we're going to uh, uh, tackle more like the top part uh, and then the front part with the Yamaru gun and the sensors. Uh, and I'll try to post the video in two weeks from now. Hope to see you then. Have a good day. Bye-bye.